you want to understand just how powerful the irrevocable trust is when it comes to protecting assets and separating liability, let's take a look at the case of Alisher Uzmanov last year when sanctions were being pushed through and were supposed to affect him and his personal assets. So we'll see here, you're supposed to get hit by these sanctions, but a spokesman for Mr. Uzmanov said that most of the billionaire's UK property, as well as his yacht, had already be tra been transferred into irrevocable trusts. When the assets were transferred, Mr. Uzmanov no longer owned them, his spokesman said, nor was he able to manage them or deal with their sale, but could only be used on a rental basis. According to a lawyer and sanctions expert, Michael O'Kane, it's very common for high net worth individuals to structure both their per commercial enterprises and their personal wealth in a way that gives them maximum tax efficiency. Quite often that results in structures whereby they release ownership and control in return for more tax efficiency. In order for an entity to be designated under sanctions, it needs to be owned or controlled by the sanctioned person. The more opaque and complex the structures of ownership, the more difficult that is to establish. And this is exactly what we teach people from every walk of life to do. Not only is this an irrevocable trust, but it is a private trust created by your own authority as a free human being, and thus it is a private contract protected by the Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution. Follow us for more. Take care.